we're gonna need a bigger bar of soap. So yes, this, this was kind of an accident. And it came in at the wrong scale here. I don't know if I can play it. Can I play it? Let's see what happens. I think I might just be the flying pawn in this. Am I? Yes, there we go. So it came in at the wrong scale. Uh, let me hit G. And it's just so, so super funny to see this. This was a, this was a thing I've set up um, from exporting in FBX from Das Studio. No, an OBJ actually. Or did I go via Blender? I don't remember. I think, yes, I think I added this to Das Studio. This is a Das Studio product by Christina. She's made that. And I think I took that and exported an FBX because that was then welded. I think the OBJ was not welded, so that came in as separate pieces into, into Unreal Engine. And it was just so funny because the scale was all messed up. It just came in as this giant duck and I thought, ha, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? And the materials are good, and you know you can even you can go underwater and and see what this what this duck looks like. He's kind of he's embedded in the thing here, so I gotta gotta work with that. But um, yes, I was thinking rather than rather than say, hey, this was a mistake. No, no, actually, this is the beginning of a new computer game. I'm thinking, <laughs> and you have to avoid the big boss duck. And so the the thing that um, I learned from this was the opacity maps, how to set those up in Unreal Engine. So I might just go and show you that just for posterity so that we know how that worked. The opacity map was not imported with the FBX. I suppose the FBX didn't, uh, didn't have a channel for that. So I had to bring that in manually. And if I could only remember where that was, was it in here? Was it in the geometry? There we go, that's it. <laughs> There's it. So there's the beak has a material. These are all materials. The body. This is the static mesh. And the eyes were a material. And they needed to be transparent. So this thing on the bottom right here, the white thing, the cutout here, that's the opacity map. And that didn't come in. It, uh, this thing came in. The eyes came in. And I will show you what that looks like. So the eyes have a special material. So I'll go and open that and show you how that's hooked up. It is fairly simple. Uh, this one was disconnected, so I'll go and uh, break this link. And so this thing wasn't even there, so the just the eye was hooked up. If I go and save that, go back to Monster Duck. <laughs> this is what it would have looked like when it came in. And that's only because the opacity around the eye was not acknowledged. And I was thinking, hmm, how am I gonna how am I gonna do that? Because this is a PNG, actually that may or may not contain uh, an alpha channel. If it does, I thought maybe I could just put the alpha channel into the opacity channel, but that is also not how that worked. It could be that, oh no, look at that, it does, it does work. There we go, so that also works. But because we had an opacity map, this is kind of a preview here of the thing. But because we had an opacity map, I just hooked that up. So make a new texture sample just like this texture sample. And then you create a, one of those. And in it then, you can pick a new picture, which is the opacity map in that case. And that RGB channel then hooks up to opacity. So this assumes you don't have an alpha channel. If you do have an alpha channel in the original texture, you can hook that up already just with the alpha output into opacity. That will work, but assuming you don't have one, say this is a JPEG that doesn't contain an alpha channel and you have a separate alpha map, you just put that into another texture sample and then you just go RGB into opacity, boom. Opacity map, well, it doesn't show up because you do have to save it. Let Unreal Engine think about it for a second. And then there it is, hurrah. I think I might actually, this is a good good clip. I might actually do that. Let's go and set a little marker up here. Clip that, rate channel, add stream marker. Boom, perfect. So I can find it, turn it into a little highlight here. 